Yo, what's up guys? It's Bucks or Ryan. Today we're going to be looking at my 90 day body transformation. This is what I looked like 90 days ago. And then this is what I look like now. It's a pretty big difference. I posted it on my Instagram. If you're not following, go follow. Shit's going crazy on my Instagram right now. And it, it, it got received very well. Uh, a lot of people are wondering, like, am I on the juice? Am I on steroids? There's a lot of people in my DM saying, I'm a skinny dude. I want to do this. Like, can you share your routine? What's your diet? Uh, how did you do this, basically? So I thought I'd just make a video and explain what it is that I've done. So make sure you watch the whole thing. So I'm going to cover a lot of different things. Um, so first off, am I on anything? Did I take any um, PEDs, trend, testosterone stuff? The answer is no. Absolutely nothing. Not even like natural testosterone boosters. I know you can get that kind of stuff like ashwagandha. Um, I think I said that right. I don't know. Absolutely nothing. 100% natty. My before picture is about 122, 123 pounds, which is what you're seeing here. And then um, my after picture, which was actually just slightly under 90 days. That's me clocking in at about 150. I'm currently 153. So it's about a 30 pound gain uh, over 90 days, which is it's a lot, and the muscle mass that I've gained as well is also pretty astronomical. I don't know how accurate it is, but my scales are saying the difference between August 26th, um, this was my muscle mass, and then what I weighed in yesterday is my current muscle mass. So I think off the top of my head, it's about a 12 to 14 pound um, muscle mass gain. Which, if you Google it and you do your research, is, is pretty unheard of without performance enhancing drugs. So I just want to clarify that I am not on anything at all. I think maybe I've just been gifted with some genetics. I don't really know. But anyway, I'm going to tell you what I did to achieve this. I know a lot of you guys may be similar to me in the fact that it's, it's near impossible for me to gain weight. I could eat 15 fucking McDonald's a day and, and not gain weight. It's weird, right? It's very strange. Um... No matter what I eat my whole life, I've always struggled. And there's been times in my life that I want to maybe make a different video on about this. But back in 2020, I was going through a, a raucous of shit in my life. This is what I looked like. I looked pretty much anorexic. Um, it was very bad. I was very, very, very underweight. I had eating problems and all sorts of stuff going on. So to look back at that picture and to look at sort of where I'm at now is is crazy. But realistically, everything has happened in the last 90 days. So what did I do? So the first thing I did, I didn't even mean to get into this. I just wanted to try and increase my appetite and start working out a little bit. And I started that literally in my apartment at home. No weights or anything. I literally was just committed to doing 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and 100 sit-ups or crunches every single night like and if i couldn't do 100 i'd do as much as i could right i think my first night i think i hit maybe 40 push-ups or something like that and then within a week i was up at 100. so for the first two weeks that's all i did i was just trying to hit 100 push-ups 100 squats 100 sit-ups every single night and um at the same time i was starting to eat a little bit more um I, my goal was to try and gain weight, right? My goal wasn't necessarily this. This just kind of happened <laughs> naturally because um, I just kind of got quite obsessed. However, that was my first two weeks, right? So then after two weeks, I started going to the gym. Now, the gym that I use is in my apartment building. It's not the craziest gym in the world. There's literally, there's no barbells. The dumbbells go up to 50 pounds. Um, so if I talk about pounds or kg in this, I'm going to talk about pounds. So make sure you do your conversions if you use kg. I'll put the equation there so you kind of know roughly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so when I started to hit the gym, I was following a, uh, a pretty simple concept. So it's basically, it's just push, pull, legs, rest day. Push, pull, legs, rest day. So on average, it's, it's about six days in the gym every single week. And before I say anything else, I just want to stress how uh, how much work has gone into this. Um, honestly, I've probably spent about four, four and a half hours a day, every single day, um, apart from my rest days, working on this goal. 
it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. Uh, and I think I just want to say a disclaimer. You have to want it. You really, really do have to want to make the difference in order to, to actually put the work in, to actually get the results. Like, it's not as simple as just eating a ton of food and going to the gym once or twice a week. That's not how it works. There's a, a lot more work <laughs> is involved than that. Even within the diet, you know, you want to be eating healthy stuff. And I will go into my diet just in a little bit. But just for now, the sort of routine I was following was push, pull, legs, rest. And push is basically chest, shoulders, triceps. Pull is your biceps and your back. And legs, legs is legs, you know? You're talking quads, calves, hamstrings, glutes, and... Um, uh, and some core work as well. Uh, there's an exercise or two that I was using pretty religiously to help my core. So what, what I did, I was just looking up workout routines. I was watching a ton of influences from uh, Coach Greg to C-Bum, Chris Bumstead to who's a uh, three-time Mr. Olympia. I was just starting to engross myself in, in fitness content and just YouTube in general. And I, I sort of figured out um, some exercises to slot into these three things. So I kind of do around seven exercises on average for every workout that I do. On back day, I will do traditionally uh, chin-ups or pull-ups to warm up. I will then do lat pull-downs, either over grip if I started with chin-ups or underhand if I started with pull-ups just to target different sort of areas of my back. Uh, I then move into into weighted rows. I then go over and do um, bent over dumbbell rows. So there's about four back exercises there. And then I'll do three bicep isolation exercises or sometimes four. Uh, triceps, you're talking, I do chest press machine, flat dumbbell press, incline dumbbell press. I've kind of added this as a third. I used to just do the two and I've added this third one um, on a lower weight. I do Egyptian lateral raises, I do chest flies, and I do some tricep isolation. So I do um, tricep pushdowns, skull crushes, uh, usually flat lying down on a bench, and then just some cable work. So again, you're talking about seven exercises there. And with the knowledge of just sort of progressing and training, I kind of have now listened to my body and I know, I know sort of what exercise to trade out for what exercise dependent on if I went ham on my chest one day or ham on my shoulder, or if I want to do extra shoulder work or if I want to do extra tricep work, isolation work, if I want to do extra chest work, I kind of know what to do and what to swap in or add or, or pull out. And on my leg day, um, do not skip leg day. <laughs> As you can see, I've, I've always had very skinny legs. It's always been a massive insecurity of mine and I can confidently say having an ass for once and having some thicker thighs and juicy quads is really really nice it's very nice <laughs> yeah leg leg day we go we go hard on leg press we do uh, calf raises we do leg curls we do leg extensions either dumbbell lunges or bulgarian split squats um glute kickbacks is something more I, i've been focusing on romanian deadlifts with dumbbells uh is great love that one although i'm now I maxed out with the dumbbells on my gym, so I need to actually go to a proper gym now. Um, and goblet squats. I'm a huge fan of goblet squats. Love the goblet squats. So that is what I sort of do at the gym. I'm just explaining to you guys what I did. So I did seven exercises each day on like push day, pull day, leg day. So that's about 21 exercises per cycle. Now, again, this, is, this worked for me. I wouldn't directly say go do the seven because it may be too much for you, you know? You need to listen to your body. For me, seven just seems to be the sweet number between these days. I think it would be a good idea if I actually go through my workout. I do have footage of everything that I do. So maybe another video, if you want to see that, make sure you leave this video a like and let me know in the comments if you wanna see my actual workout routine and I'll show you what it is I do and have been doing. But now let's move on to the diets and supplements. So over the last 90 days, I haven't actually used any pre-workout, like like no pre-workout whatsoever, um, which is kind of bizarre. <laughs> I know, don't ask why. I, I don't know why. I just, I just didn't use it. So maybe I could actually get some extra gains now by using pre-workout. Um, what I was doing, however, which ties into diet, is I was drinking two protein shakes a day. So I'd have a protein shake before the gym, 
preferably like 30 minutes to an hour before the gym. Um, and then straight after the gym, I'll have another protein shake. Um, and then I'll have a mass gainer, which I think the, the dosage I was having was about 750 to 1,000 calories per mass gainer shake that I was creating every single day. Within the protein, there are some BCAAs. There is five grams of creatine in my mass gainer. However, I don't know how high quality that is or if it's actually five grams. I've, I've heard from certain people that, you know, if you really want to be taking creatine, you should just have it kind of separate. So my goal moving forward is if I, when I'm going to stop bulking, I'm just going to sort of have creatine separately and come off the mass gainer. But that's something I'm still figuring out right now. But other than that, no, no supplements, nothing else. I don't take any, any pills. I don't take any, again, no performance enhancing drugs, nothing of the sort, not even pre-workout. I also just want to stress how important sleep is. So I was actually sleeping around eight to 10 hours a night, very consistently throughout this 90 day process. A few times I would only get about six or seven hours and I, I can't tell you just how much of a difference the extra hours really do make to your, your body and your progress in general. Now this is important though, my diet. So I have been consuming or attempting to consume between 4,000 to 6,000 calories every single day. Now I'm going to say it, it's, it's pretty fucking impossible or it's not impossible it's 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 hard it's very hard to to hit the 6000 range um <laughs> the 6000 range really just comes on uh, every so often there will be a day where i am i'm very hungry and my my appetite my body my stomach is is very open cuz i've been letting it open usually i will have to cheat a little bit to reach the 5000 to 6000 mark you're talking some cheat calories you know muffins that I get there are 470 calories each but I do have a very quite quite a strict diet and again guys I'm just explaining what I did to achieve my results whether it's the best thing to do you know that's not exactly for me to say I'm just telling you what I did to to get what I got so breakfast three soft boiled eggs and three slices of toast every single morning sometimes I'll throw in some bacon, three or four slices on the side as a little treat. It's a pretty filling breakfast. I think I was working out the other day. It's about 500, 600 calories with the bacon, maybe slightly more. And just to point out, in between my meals, I like to eat a lot of yogurt, uh, specifically low fat or no fat um, yogurt that has some good protein in there. And I always usually throw in some fresh blackberries blueberries and i love um eating bananas usually with my lunch that's kind of part of a meal though um so just want to throw it in there there, there are sort of extra calories that come in from from snacks yogurt things like that easy sort of to consume foods um for lunch i will usually make a fucking chunky ass turkey cheese mayo sandwich so we're getting some more bread some more carbs i'll usually just have a lot of crisps or chips as you Americans would say, maybe some more fruit. Uh, if I if I have them in stock in my cupboard, I'll usually throw in a muffin or something cheeky. Just trying to get up about a thousand calories uh, in in my lunches. So you're talking now between between breakfast and lunch snack, the breakfast and the lunch, we're up at about two thousand calories. Um, now for dinner, this is the important. This is the very important one for dinner. What do I do for dinner every single night? So I this isn't sponsored, but I use HelloFresh. If you don't know much about HelloFresh, they, it's literally, you get completely fresh ingredients sent to your door to cook from scratch using said fresh ingredients, a full on meal. So I get six meals a week and I get double portions. So I'm technically cooking for two people, but I'm eating both portions every single night. Usually this ranges from about 1600 to 2200 calories. Uh, so now we're up at about 4,000, 3,800 3, to about 4,200 calories. Now you put on the protein shakes and the mass gainer. On top of that, we're averaging, let's just say we're averaging about 5,000 calories a day, which is why I say between four and 6,000, because sometimes it's closer to four, sometimes it's closer to six. I try to balance it out, but that's pretty much, it's a very strict diet plan that I have. Um, you know, my breakfasts don't really ever change. My snacks don't really ever change. My lunch doesn't really ever change. My dinners change, but the calorie intake is still the same. 
and amongst all my HelloFresh dinners, I get all the essential different uh, nutrition from different food groups that I need. Sorry, there's just so much to cover. Um, so that, that that's basically it. Um, maybe I make a follow-up video and I go through my actual workout routine and show you what I'm actually doing and go a bit more into that. There's just only so much time um, that I can put into this video, but I really want to help as many people as I can um, because I was there very recently and I have been there for the majority of my life. If you're a skinny dude and you're finding it difficult to gain weight, you're intimidated by the gym, um, you don't know how to sort of create the right diet. I really do want to be here to help. So I just want to say I, I do want to potentially put together a 90 day program for people like me. And I think I've proven the results myself. Um, I'd love to put together a pro a very specific, quite in-depth program to help people like me achieve their body goals and, and, you know, feel more secure about themselves and, and, and do something that is really going to sort of help change your life. For me, it's like, I'm so much more confident. I'm so much happier. My mental health is just so much better. Like I cannot physically explain to you how much better I feel in my own body and just as a human being uh, in general. So on that note, let me know if you want me to create a more in-depth program. It is something that I'm going to spend a lot of time working on. So I will probably price it around the same price as a one month Netflix subscription. It's a single time purchase asset, you know, for this, for the same price as one fucking month of Netflix, I can hopefully help you transform yourself and change your life. So I think that's a good sort of comparison to go by <laughs> considering Netflix is just let's just sit on our ass all day and do fucking nothing which is what shows right I'm signing out here guys leave the video a like as always subscribe if you're new and you want to see more I've got some cool fitness ideas to do as well like I want to really train my abs every day for 30 days and my calves every day for 30 days I want to do a plank every day for 30 days and document the difference uh, and all that kind of stuff so if you want to see that kind of content just on the side as well I'm here for it please do go and follow my Instagram. I'm putting a lot of stuff up there and also in my stories. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.